it's universe and universe is universal space HQ. I prefer uh, Explorers 2. Um, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Were you getting that vibe? Sort of an Explorers vibe? A little bit. Well, anytime a kid builds a spaceship, I automatically think of Explorers. <laughs> but you don't, you don't see it that often, and I, and I don't know if it's just... I love the idea of doing that, or I just really like the movie Explorers, but... That yeah. movie is amazing. Yeah, no, there's something about, like, just actually never seen Explorers, yourself. watch it now. Yeah, do yourself. It, it's a great... You warned, it's 80s. like Flight of the Navigator, the last act gets kind of weird, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's oh, very like much, Robert Picardo in a green It's very suit. much an 80s <laughs> boys team, uh, trope movie, but, it, but it's so good, I love it. Uh, there's just something about actually building, like, your own you know, fantasy thing, whether it be a spaceship or whatever, and actually going into space, and they have all the little gears I don't know if they had someone stuff. like Pearl the... Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they had the aliens of them, so yeah, okay, yeah. I, guess, <laughs> I guess it is Explorers. But, um, no, I like, uh, because I'm, I mean, I was kind of, you know, laughing, like, oh, and I, yeah, they're gonna make a spaceship out of all that stuff, but then when you kind of see how they do it, with, like, you know, I like how the keyboard is sort of the directions, and, like, the torn-up chair do, do, is do, do, the... Do. You know, it is what they're sitting on and stuff. And yeah, I just, I loved all of it. And I almost, I wanted to see more. I wanted to see even like more of the buttons and the gears and what was what and what they used for the stuff. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. There's just something you I love about that concept. thought it was all enchanting. But for me, the evidence is mounting. It's building. I've got a whole file going here. Because now we've got abduction in the list. <laughs> yeah, pretty much kidnapping. Yeah, the father says, clearly, you ain't going. And then Pearl pretty much is like, Steven, you're going. And not only that, I stole all of the shit from your dad's van. The fuck? <laughs> well, I, well, I, well, here's a big uh, kind of revelation. Nearly gets them killed, I well, might add. Well, and, and a big revelation that's like... <laughs> I'll bring him back in 50 years. I, I didn't even think about this, but I guess everything's on Earth. I guess, because you kind of assume they're traveling in different dimensions or different worlds or something, but it, it's all got to be on Earth because they say they can't go... Maybe all different dimensions on Earth, because I... <sighs> Maybe, but I mean, here's the thing. They live on a beach where there's this giant statue you holding... You know what? I guess stuff. it could all be I mean, Earth, yeah. It, yeah, it could I just, just always assumed they were world. going to different planets and shit. <laughs> That's what I, I, I thought, too, kind of yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm just fast. I, I'm like, I guess the grass is always greener, because for Pearl, she's like, and here I am, stuck on Earth. I'm like... I don't know, using that warp system, Earth's still pretty fucking cool. Well, but you don't know what she's come from either. I mean, obviously, that's kind of like her home. There's True. much more possibilities than if you're stuck in one place. But, of course, at the end, she learns to like it. But um, you have me! <laughs> Steven! Um, I did like how they bookended the show with that. How it started off with, yes, and I have you, but it's kind of sad. And then at the end, she's like, yes, and I have you. And I've learned to accept that because... I nearly got us killed. Can, uh, can Japan get working on a crying breakfast friend show that? Are I you are shitting me? They are, I'm serious. They already have it. It's called Kogapan. Have you ever seen it? It's the, Surprisingly, it's, it's, no. It's the sad piece of burnt toast. Oh, you told me about this. That gets drunk on milk. He drowns his sorrows <laughs> in milk and gets drunk on it. And most of the episodes is him, like, sitting there going, Ugh. I'm so sad, I'm burnt. That's All the drunk, other pieces of bread get eaten, but not that's me. That's drunk toast. I want sad breakfast friends. Okay, so that, it's the next best thing to sad breakfast was friends. Just, right? I had to rewind that, it was so funny. The apple with the one arm. Ah! <laughs> that was amazing. And just the cries themselves were so funny. Because like, when you first see those stickers, I'm like, he puts a little sad face. It's like, a, whatever, a pancake or something. And I'm thinking, like, who makes sad stickers? And then he says, there's sad breakfast friends stickers. Oh, okay, that's kind of funny. But then you see the show, and that's, just, that's hilarious. That is so funny. The sad breakfast is when you wanted Pop-Tarts, <coughs> and you get kicks instead. <laughs> <laughs> or grape nuts. No, no, it's when you want Pop-Tarts, but you get, like, the cinnamon one or some nasty one that, like, tastes awful. Um, there are no nasty Pop-Tarts. Oh, there no. are. There are some nasty You pop lie! No, there, there's some nasty ones. Uh, Liar! <laughs> um, but no, I I, I like. I don't the, think I've uh, ever met a pop tart I didn't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Chikawa. But That's why I also uh, had to tell the judge um, <laughs> after the duct tape and spit. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, no, I I really like this one. Again, it's 
Pearl is growing on me more and more. I mean, this is an episode I where all, it's like, I told you, I've always what? liked Pearl. No, no, no. There's something. I mean, I, I didn't dislike her. And you were always her. Garnet, Amethyst, and they're cool. But there's something about Pearl's ability to fix vans and build a spaceship well, that no, I just find how, really hot. No, just, <laughs> just how precise she is in the calculations and stuff. And it, it I guess instead of being like controlling, you're sure you're seeing more the determination of it, which I kind of like. You know, at first it's like, no, 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 because our calculations have to be no, you can't wing anything, no, you can't make up anything. And I now it's something like this. <laughs> well, I guess if a few humans, a monkey, and a dog can go to space, yeah. maybe. We can. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and you obviously see how much getting to like you know the space again means and what she came from. It was a big part of her identity and her home and everything. But now she has. It also a new brings up an interesting point, which is how long do gems live? We got the they thousands, said thousands of years. Yeah, the thousands of years, and then but this brings up a point. I'll return Stephen in fifty years. Is he gonna age? Will he stop aging at some point when he hits? Maybe like, he's already. They all look no. like they're in their mid. 20 like they've got an age written they all look like i'm staring at garnet right now pause on the television like anywhere from 25 to 33 like they're yeah. stuck in that age range somewhere so is steven gonna hit that point like anywhere from 25 to 33 and just stop aging and if so, because he's would a gem, even to get apparently. There? So, well, well, how long would it even take to get there? I mean, he could look like that for like maybe a couple hundred years, and then you know, suddenly you know, grow a mustache. <laughs> sure, and if like they're practically mustache. immortal, how do they not abuse that power? <laughs> <laughs> Who says they're not? Exactly. I'm telling you, the evidence is building. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like the. Uh, it's a good Pearl Steven episode. It's, uh, I, I love, like I said, the building the spaceship thing. It's just something I always liked. And I, lo uh, I love the dad at the end. This, this kid is killing me. Yeah, I love when he just goes in the fetal position. That, that, like, <laughs> like, you just sympathize. That's just what I'd it. say. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, no, you, you just sympathize with it. Um, well, and I, you do, even though you know they're not going to go away and he's not going to come back in 50 years, you do kind of feel that urgency because Pearl is just so sad and here we go. No, no, there's no Problem. It's like, no, no, you really have to rationalize fast that this is a bad thing. Uh, you know, yeah. that 50 years is a long time. He'll probably be dead by that point. You know, we can't do this. No, 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 we'll go, we'll go. And I don't have 50 years. I feel so bad for that. How do you file that Amber Alert? Uh, no, my son's been abducted by a gem. They built a rocket ship. Uh, you know what? I'll check myself into the asylum. <laughs> click. No, I kind of handed him over willingly. <laughs> no, I didn't really hand him over. She just stole all the shit from my van and MacGyver to spaceship, and now she's flying to the nearest star system. Why wasn't he in school? Hello? I don't Hello? know. <laughs> um, uh, but again, that does sort of raise even more questions. Like, if this is all on Earth, I mean, is this? Is this kind of like the future or something like that? Or what happened to make the Earth kind of look this way? Back to the Future 2 did not predict this. No. Um, there's a great meme that says, can we remake Back to the Future 2? And it's just everybody looking at their phones and getting offended by everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's my new favorite meme. That's half our life. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, our life is dealing with everybody yeah. looking at their phones and getting <laughs> my, offended My job is offending those people. <laughs> no regrets. Um... But yeah, I thought this was, uh... Why do you think every episode of Steven Universe has to have a moral? Hey, you missed the moral in this episode of Steven Universe! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I, I really like this one. I thought it was a good balance of, like, you know, creativity with the spaceships or the emotional with Pearl and Steven and even the father as well. Uh, it doesn't you know, immediately connect to, like, the continuing story, but it does drop these little hints that, like, hey, but you didn't know that, but you didn't know this, and it's I good to know. revealing more shit that... Yeah, and it does it very naturally, Can too. add to the FBI's file <laughs> on them. So, um, um, yeah, it... I don't know, I really like this one. I, I, I like this one better than the last one. I mean, I like yeah. the relationship with Steve and his dad in the last one, but... Um, I, I I somehow felt it even more when I felt uh, it more in this when episode. When he's like looking though, through the binoculars, yeah. what? Because he was scared shitless. Yeah, and you just you really just felt saw it that thing go up like the fucking Challenger and explode. And he's like, holy shit! Yeah, and it's one of those things where when you hear it happening, I mean, you just sort of sympathize with that rush. Like, no, 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 this is like y you get a little panicky too, even though you know nothing's gonna happen. You know, like yeah. he's gotta come back. We have several episodes and stuff, but you feel that panic because it's just happening so quick. And it is such a different world, and it's a totally different person to rationalize with because they do have different, you know, age growth and everything. Right, that's um, good. I want to so, watch the next one. Wow. Say goodnight, Grayson. It's...
never an embarrassment to fail. There's a lot of times <laughs> where it's bad to fail. It's like, I mean, I got the message, uh, I but knew I'm you like, were going to get into this. No, 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 uh, no, no. I, I don't need to go into, like, deep detail or anything, but you know there's bad times. There's plenty of bad times. I'm, like, times psyched to, to watch on. the next episode. I'm like, good, I think I got them done. And then, uh, no, I'm just saying that it's like, you know, how about bail when it's needed, when you need to do it. I don't like it. It's just there's no shame in bailing, but it's... It should establish that. I don't know. I can see just so many people like just sitting on a couch, like not getting a job, or like go through all the jobs they went through and then they just quit the next day. Hey, there's no shame in bailing. Holding, <laughs> holding some kid over a cliff trying to save them. Eh, you know what? There's no shame in bailing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as unlikely as that is, I, <laughs> I think they come made that one clear. <sighs> I mean, I think most people would get it, and most kids would get it, but it's still like, you know, I. I don't know, I can see someone just running that message through their head, like, at an important moment or something like that, misinterpreting it or something. <laughs> some, um, some kid's taking a test at school, well, no shame in bailing! <laughs> just gets up and leaves. I'm out! What were you thinking, son? Steven Universe told me. <laughs> Universe! I, uh... You know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think the same thing, but then I have to wonder, am I thinking too much like an adult now? Like... Oh, what were the precious children in the fragile I don't know. When I, was, when I was a kid, I wanted to bail a lot. Yeah. <laughs> especially in school. Especially maybe that is, or maybe that's our problem is we're thinking too much about what we were as kids. But maybe we were just jackass kids. <laughs> All kids are jackass kids. You know, know, but maybe it. particularly we were We were especially kids. jackass kids. Maybe we so, were really assholes. But if we, if we existed, you know there's others that existed. But it the, is true. We were always the class fuck-ups. Yeah. But <laughs> so, um, maybe, I don't, I don't know. But um, I think they could have had just a little bit more like if it's when it's needed or when it's necessary. Or well, you like know that, what? But we bailed on that, and here we are as grown adults watching cartoons. You know what? I should have thought more about that speech, really. It's no shame in bailing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's the best thing you can take out of this. Maybe they're onto something. <laughs> you know, um, I'm bailing. And there's no shame in that. Yeah, there is! Terrible people. <laughs>